Magic questions. What is your customer's buying patterns? What's most important to this customer when they come into your store? What is the reason the customer came to buy something from you today? What did they do before? What did they like about what they purchased the last time? What didn't they like about it? Would they do that purchase again? Hey, how do you know these things from your customer? Magic questions. Hey, my name is Daniel Lewis. I'm the CEO of SceneCon Productions, and today we're gonna to be discussing magic questions. All right, the reason why they call magical is because they give you data that otherwise, if you never ask, you'd never have. They tell you everything about why the customer is calling today, emailing you, or walking into your office or your store, okay? Often, people ask questions when they're doing a sales cycle. They'll ask a bunch of questions, but they never listen to get the, 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 the answers. In fact, when they even get the answers, they don't even like, calculate like ling 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 ooh this is the data i need right here on how i'm going to sell this customer how i'm going to solve this problem how i'm going to get a deal here how i'm going to ink a deal son they don't know because they ain't listening or they ask questions and never get an answer to them you know you say what is most important to you in making this purchase ah uh, well you know we just like to have it that is not an answer all right what is most important to you buying this camera today uh the lens what is it about the lens i want to get shots that blur out the background like your videos, like the videos Danny Lewis, like the one we're shooting right now, okay? That is an answer, okay? But you need to know how to ask these questions and why you're asking this question. For example, here's a magic question. If there was one thing I could improve for you over what you already have, what would that one thing be? If there was one problem I can solve for you in your life over what you've already improved in your life, what would that one thing be? Okay, if there was one thing I could improve for you over what you already have with your marketing, what would that one thing be? Okay, what must your next product or service have that your current one does not have? What is that gonna tell you? The guy's gonna tell you, well, right now, the problem I'm trying to solve is that I don't have enough money. What does that tell you? Good, if you figured out a way to get this guy money, what are you gonna get? A customer, someone who's gonna pay you money, someone who just told you a problem. Remember, people spend money to solve problems of love. They love your solution and it's gonna take care of a particular problem they have, therefore they're gonna spend money, all right? Here's another one. With your last car purchase, what did you like about your last car purchase? What didn't you like about that car? Would you, what, what, what would you change about uh, the car that you purchased last time? Oh, I changed your seat. I would change the fact that it doesn't have Bluetooth. I would change the fact that it wasn't, uh, you know, a screen in the actual, uh, you know, in the car's dashboard, but it was like one of these trend lines. I think they call these trend lines where it's just a knob and you press a button and you got this little uh, uh, not so good looking digital screen. They would change that. Okay, and I want more of a big LCD like on a VW Polo TSI. That's what would you change? Okay, good. Would you, you know, with the last car that you purchased, okay, would you purchase that car? again would you would you move in a complex like you did the last time when you moved into a boring property if you're a real estate agent looking to help somebody get better accommodation because now they can't afford to pay the rates that they're paying in Santon or maybe they're looking waterfall city and they want to now move out and stay in another ball of uh, ball and property that's much less expensive hey would you move into a property uh, apartment that looks similar like the one you did. You never know, a guy might be going there to actually look for apartments just because he's just snooping around to see what's out there, but he doesn't actually want to move out. So you ask him a question, hey, would you rent exactly the same like you did before? You might get a yes, crazy. So what do you do? You sell the guy that product, that service, that investment, that apartment. Okay, but you gotta ask the magic questions and you gotta put together your list of magic questions, okay? What are you doing right now with your, or what, what car are you driving right now? Okay, what do you like about that car? What, what, what don't you like about that car? What would you change about that car? Would you buy the same car again? How did you pay for it? Financing, monthly payment, card cash, down payment? Is that your preferential form of payment? What do all those questions tell you? The guy would buy the same car again, he financed the car, okay? There isn't anything he would change. He was actually curious to see 
what is different about the new model car and there isn't much difference but his car has higher miles and now he's going to change because he wants a car with less mileage that'll take him further he actually likes the car that he's driving right now he's happy he just wants one with less mileage so what do you do show him one with less mileage okay but you gotta know how to ask these questions you gotta make your list of magic questions they give you everything on what the customer is trying to solve, why they're in your store, what their buying patterns are, whether they would change that product, do the same thing as they did the last time, and then you know how you can sell them. Often people will go into sales processes with the customer and just sell, 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 sell. This is good, this is right for you, this is what you need, and they haven't even asked one question. Hey, let me ask you before you before I show you what you know we have in store here, what's most important to you in buying a car? Okay, why did you decide to buy a car today? Okay, why this car? Why this product? Why this insurance? Why this dental service? Why this chiropractic adjustment or osteopath service? You don't even know why, and therefore you don't sell. Okay, so if you're struggling to get this uh, sales done when your sales processes and you need a list of magic questions, hey, Scene Car Production will be happy to help you. In fact, in fact, we'd be happy to create a little presentation for you that you can ask these kind of questions in your marketing ads to your customers and if you need customers to be aware of you so you can have them in your space where you can even have an opportunity to ask them the questions that you're putting together that will tell you the data that you need in order for them to take care of a problem for you so that they are aware of your existence hit us up on the link below www.ccom store we'll be happy to do marketing for you we'll be happy to come and shoot your practice your office your business show it to the world so we can get your customers in the door that you can ask a bunch of magic questions let's go let's go